Hey, what's up guys, it's Buzz 23 here, and today I'll be showing you the differences between the 2009 Buzz over here and the more current Toy Story 4 Karate Trap Action Buzz. It's basically a Toy Story 4 Action Buzz, but like its head is just different, but it's overall the same Buzz. So overall, off the bat, we can easily tell already that this has way more detail than this the current Buzz. He has posability in the arms right here. He even has his laser painted on. He has all of this purple fingers colored on. And overall, it just looks so much better. And he even as a helmet. And back in the day, this was like $15, $20. And if these were on clearance, literally like $5 at Target. So overall, so far, 2009 Buzz is winning. And over here, he has no paint on the arms whatsoever, and his posability is just a little bit more scuffed. Like, his arm over here is not posable at all, and his laser is not pointed, painted on. And also, his legs do not bend. They're just stuck in place. Like, you can't even move them the slightest. They're just stuck, so Buzz 2009 is already winning. And... The last really major letdown with the newer Karate Chop Action Buzz is over here in the 2009 Buzz. You just have to put his arm up and hit this button. And overall, it just looks pretty accurate, right? And then over here, there, there's no button at all. There's absolutely nothing to do it. You just put his arm up and then let it go. Like, what is that? It's not really that good at all. So yeah, these are the comparisons between the 2009 and the newer Buzz Lightyear Karate Chop action. Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below on what other rare Buzz Lightyears I should do or any reviews or maybe even a collection update. But overall, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video. See you guys later.